So let's start with a basic explanation <coughs> of cash book. We go back to the simple sums again. Okay. Cash book, it's a three column cash book. You have discount allowed on the debit and discount received on the credit. All the money that is coming in is recorded on the debit side. All the money that is going out is recorded on the credit side. Now look over here, paid, paid and paid. That means the money is going out. If the money is going out, it will be recorded on the credit side. You have paid by check, by check, by check. If you've paid by check, that means it will come in the bank column. Let's check for 3rd of February. What have you paid? You have paid rent by check. What have you paid? Rent by check. So you will record rent. Check, that means bank column. Paid Gary by check. You have paid check bank. Paid to whom? Gary. So you'll write Gary. Paid wages by check. By check means bank column. Paid what? Wages. So in details, you will write wages and the date will be there. When you close the account, what do you do? You will write the debit total and credit total. The credit side is more. How much is the credit side? 800. Sorry, the credit side is 400 plus 67 plus 832. So 1299. The credit side is more. Write the more on both the sides. From that more, there is nothing on the debit side. Deduct the less of so 1299. I will remove zero. So 1299 will be my balance closed down on the last date. And this will be brought in cross first day of the next month. And it will be balance begin now. One, two, nine, nine. That means your bank over here has a credit balance. Is bank an asset or a liability? It is an asset. But bank can also have a credit balance. If bank has a credit balance, it means it is a bank overdraft. When I say it is a bank overdraft, it means more money has been withdrawn from the bank than what you have. So you have withdrawn more money from your bank. So if you see over here, you had nothing on the debit side, but you have paid from the bank. That means more money has been taken out from the bank than what you have. Understanding the account is also very important. Now let's look over here. Recording the receipts of cash. Cash received. Money is coming in. Received. Received. Money is coming in. Money is coming in. So if the money is coming in, you will record it on which side? Debit side. Where is the money coming in? It is coming in cash. 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 So cash column. Let's check. Money is coming from Nigel. Where is the money coming from? Nigel. On what date? 
4th of May. So I will write Nigel. How much is coming? 213. Cash column. Because it is cash. Harry. 92. Cash column. Cash received from Hillary. Hillary. 729. Cash column. If I have to close this account, what is the debit total? The debit total is more. I will write it on both the sides. So it will be 213 plus 92 plus 729, 1034. 1034. So the debit total is more. It is 1034. The credit total is zero. From the debit, when I subtract the credit, I will have my balance closed down on the shorter side. And the shorter side is the credit side. So 1034 will be my balance closed down on the last date of the month. Balance closed down. And the same will become my balance begin down. 1034. Let's go to the next one. Let's do the next one. Check received. If I receive a check, that means the money is coming in. It is check. So it will come in the bank. Cash sales. Banked. That means you sold good. You have sold the goods. You have received the money. And after receiving the money, you put the money into the bank. So it is coming directly into the bank. Check received. Received, that means money is coming in. Put it in the bank. Now you have received this check, the first one. You have received it from Steve. So on 2nd of Jan, you will write Steve. Received from Steve. Cash sales. You've done sales. So you'll write sales. You don't need to write cash. Check received from Mustaf. So Mustaf. It's check, so amount will come in the bank column. Now, when I do the closing, how will I do the closing? I will do the debit total. What is the debit total? The debit total is 249 plus 851 plus 29. It is 1129. Write the more on both the sides. I will write the more on both the sides. Credit total is zero. The debit minus the credit will be the balance closed down on the credit side on the last date of this month. And on the cross, you will bring this down on Feb 1. This will become the balance begin down one, one, two, nine. Let's go to the next one. So by now, you would have mastered recording what comes on the debit side, what comes on the credit side. Now what you need to do is, you need to try doing this sum by yourself, where you have combined the debit and the credit and you have to record this. Pause the video. When if you're listening to the video, pause it. Try to do it yourself. And then look back to the marking scheme to see if you have done it correct or not. Check. It is during the month of April, you're checking it. So you should have tried this sum yourself. 
cash received money is coming in debit side from the customer so on the debit of cash you are writing you've received from xavier 4th april paid going out paid for cash 530 what have you paid it for motor expenses 6th april cash received money coming in in means debit side which column cash column 77 from milli rent paid money going out money going out of cash in the cash column for rent insurance premium paid money going out of the cash for what for insurance premium credit side cash sales money coming in money coming in through cash in the cash column cash sales 12th of april so we've recorded this now we need to do the closing so when we do the closing what do we write it is normal bank has nothing this is discount allowed this is discount received we do the debit total and we do the credit total what is the debit total 458 plus 77 plus 743 debit total is 1278 credit total is 530 plus 210 plus 156 credit total is 896 whatever is more i will write it on both the sides whatever is more i will write it on both the sides from the more i will subtract the less so i will get the balance begin down close down on the shorter side so balance close down will be on the credit side which is 382 so this will be equal to this 382 is my balance closed down on the last date of the month and the same will be brought down on the first day over here may 1 may balance begin down of 382 let's have a check on the sum again what you need to do is you need to enter the transactions in the cash book pause the video do the sum yourself and then you will go back to the marking scheme now let's look at the marking scheme of this sum try to check where you've gone wrong try to check where you have gone wrong let's check paid price paid money is going out paid to price 350 by check check received money is coming in 450 check you have received the check for rent so in the details i will write rent takings means sales cash sales banked that means the money is put into the bank takings put into the bank so directly in the bank takings is sales paid customer paid by check customer paid by check means you have received customer has paid you have received customer has paid you have received you have received check from whom bliff check received from box 
check received from box paid into the bank. Taxes paid by check. Taxes by check 219. Now the time comes for closing. How do you close? Debit total, credit total. Whatever is the shorter side will be the balance closed down on the shorter side. So what is the debit total? It is 450 plus 2187 plus 639 plus 93. It is 3369. 3369. From that, so debit total is 3369. What is the credit total? Credit total is 569. So the balance closed down would be 3369 minus 569. It is 2800. On the last date of October, it will be balance closed down. And the same thing will be written on the first date of the next month as balance begin down. Please note, brought down, begin down means the same. Closing balances appear on the opposite side of the actual balance. Since the debit side is more, that means the account has a debit balance. Since the debit side is more, it means the account has a debit balance. But I will write the closing balance on the opposite side. And then on the next date, when it comes to the opening, it will become the same balance. So if a bank account has a debit balance, it means it is a current asset. Money is there in your bank. And if the bank account has a credit balance, if a bank account has a credit balance, it means you have overdrawn then what you have. It is a bank overdraft. And bank overdraft is a current liability. It means your bank account can have a debit balance. It can also have a credit balance. You can withdraw more money than what you have from the bank account. Now you need to try this worked example for yourself. Pause the video. Do the sum. And after doing the sum, you are going to check your answer. After checking the answer, you will balance the account. So this is the marking scheme. You will try doing this sum yourself. Check it. From the marking scheme, please note, we do not make folios. We make discount allowed and discount received. Try doing this sum yourself. Check your answers. Do the balancing. Also need to learn the source documents that is used for a cash book. On the debit side, if you're recording anything on the debit side of your cash book, your source documents or your business documents would be till rolls, bank pain counterfoils, and receipts, a copy of your receipts. If you're writing anything on the credit side of your cash book, your source documents would be receipts, and checkbook counterfoils. You need to learn this. Thank you so much. Now, in the next time, we are going to do more of the balancing and certain past paper questions.